Hey everybody, welcome to another What the Heck Wednesday. This week I'm talking about lactose intolerance and celiac disease, and this is just something that's actually connected to the celiac disease that many people aren't aware of. And what I wanted to do was just uh, show you how the two are connected and explain symptoms of lactose intolerance and just things you should be aware of if you aren't aware of them yet while being gluten-free. So just to go over the symptoms first off, they're actually very similar to the, the symptoms you get when you get gluten, but they're just all stomach related. So the symptoms would be getting bloated, uh, just having stomach pain in your lower stomach, and diarrhea and gas and things along those lines which I post below and those are just the symptoms um, that occur within 30 minutes to two hours of having uh, lactose or dairy and that's just something that you may notice after going gluten-free that might still be happening that you would think would go away but it's actually because of dairy and not because of gluten so um, a lot of people know about lactose intolerance but they don't know why the two are uh, celiac disease and lactose intolerance are connected and really uh, it's actually pretty simple and why that is is when you are undiagnosed with celiac disease and you're consuming gluten it damages your villi and it damages your intestine and it actually makes your body unable to process and break down the lactose uh, ingredient and the lactose gene so basically it makes you lactose intolerant because your intestines are getting damaged and they can't process it and you just become lactose intolerant until you go gluten free and fix it and for some people they can actually go gluten free for about one or two years and they can try and reduce uh, introduce dairy again and then they're fine and other people have to be lactose intolerant their whole life but it does get better over time so just to be able to test yourself or go to your nutritionist you just this is something you can bring up to them and just see if you still have these symptoms after going gluten free and usually most doctors do recommend that you go dairy free with going gluten free since the two are so connected and so involved with each other and um, that's pretty much everything you need to know about lactose intolerance and celiac disease and how they're connected uh, if you have any questions you can comment below and if you have any questions you can ask me and I just hope this was helpful to you if you're still having problems so just keep watching